Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Abigail aka Chocolate Abby and I would like to begin this video by telling you guys Happy New Year! Starting off this new year, I'm showing you guys how I created this pearl graphic eyeliner look. Hopping straight in, I am priming my face because you cannot apply your makeup until you prep your skin first. After this, I went straight into my brows and I am using the Maybelline Cosmetics Brown Gel Liner. I usually go in with the brown gel eyeliner first and because of my chocolate complexion, I like to apply some black eyeliner from the same Maybelline Cosmetics at the end because the brown eyeliner, it, to me, it does not show up at the end of my skin tone as I want it to. After this, I am going straight in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and I'm using this to clean up my brows and also make it all neat and precise. And then I'm going over to the top of my brows with the foundation that I'm going to be using. I am going to be listing all these products in the description box. You can find them in my Amazon storefront. Yes, guys. I mentioned to you guys on Facebook that I am now an Amazon influencer. And I have my own storefront where you guys can go over there and purchase stuff. Okay, let me stop talking about that. I am now applying my foundation. And I like to just add some little dots with a foundation on my face. And then I move on with a fluffy brush. And my technique is basically drag and pat. So I just drag the foundation where I want it to go. And then I pat it into my skin. That gives me a seamless, smooth finish. You see? You see how that's looking right there? Hmm. I went back into my brows to just make sure they're all perfect and what's not. And I clean up the middle that was looking like an eagle ready to fly away. I hate that. <laughs> and then I just applied some Sasha Buttercup powder just under my brows. Moving on, I am going into the contour of my face. I don't usually do the contour before the highlight, but for some reason... I was letting that direction and I did the contour and then I moved on to the highlight. And I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn for my highlight. And I just put this on the places that I want the light to hit. So I use the brush. This, this is another thing that I changed. I usually use a beauty blender for this. But I found a couple of days ago I used the brush and everything was even better than when i use a sponge so i guess i'll be using brushes now for this part of my routine i then went on to add a lighter shade concealer i think this was the yellow concealer and i just put this to the corners of my eyes i don't know why i did that i, I think i saw that was a new trend while i was not doing makeup and i was all pregnant and all that what's not so i tried it and i love it so i put the yellow concealer to the corners of my eyes then I went in with the beauty blender and I just add a little bit of my Sasha buttercup powder and then I just went ahead and I pat that in under my eye because I recently learned that if you do not want your under eyes to crease you need to just put a little bit of product and just pat that in under your eyes mm -hmm. and it worked for me moving on I went to set the nose contour And then I went in with a Sasha Buttercup powder and I went and set my nose contour because that's what I do. Yeah, that works for me. So I just did that. I went back with a fluffy brush and I blended out the remainder of my contour foundation. And then I went ahead and I set the rest of my highlight with the Sasha Buttercup powder. Yeah. Uh, if you look at my other videos, you will see I did a lot of stuff differently because makeup trends, they often change. And every day you learn new things, right? Anyway, moving on to the eyes. I went in with my Maybelline Cosmetics Black Liner, the same one that I use at the end of my brows. And I just tapped that onto my lids. Then I went in with this brown 
eyeshadow from Juvia's Place. And then I just went to the edges of the gel liner and I just blended that in. You know, to give that a nice transition. It's all about the transition. You just, just can't have the makeup just sitting there. That's crazy. Anyway, after I finished applying the brown and blended that in, I went ahead with some black eyeshadow. And I applied that on top of the gel liner. Moving on, I am using the NYX White Liquid Liner. And I'm going to be creating my wing with that. Yeah. This took me like forever because, yeah, doing the wing, you have to be so careful so you don't spoil anything. So I started off with the wing to the bottom and then I went ahead to create the one at the top. I got these gorgeous gorgeous pearls and gems from my amazon store you guys head over to my amazon store and get yours yeah you guys know i love a pearl and a gem i look right so i got a whole bunch of pearls and gems from my amazon store and i'm just going to be applying this on top of the list but it took forever so i did not flip me applying each and every pearl so hmm. anyway Moving on, I applied some bronzer. I applied this on my cheekbone and on the bridge of my nose. And so I usually just use one of the Juvia's Place shadows to line my lips. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm using right here. I went in with the NYX White Jumbo Pencil just to the center of my waterline. And then I went to the end of my waterline with the Maybelline Black Gel Liner. And then after I did that, I just went ahead and put on some bomb lashes, which I actually created by doubling two lashes. I cannot remember where I got them from, but I just doubled them and then I was like, oh, this looks so perfect, yeah. After I finished applying them, I went ahead and put some brown eyeshadow under my eyes and then I put some black eyeshadow just to the end to make them pop a little bit more. And then I just dusted off the excess Stasha Buttercup powder. I put on some mascara to the bottom lashes and then I said, oh, these need some false lashes at the bottom. So I went ahead and applied some bottom lashes to, yeah, to my bottom lashes. <laughs> and this was just giving me life. Just, just look at that. Just look at those eyes. They're just popping. Anyway, I went ahead and just continued dusting off the powder and... Do you know the choke hole that the NYX Butter Gloss Fortune Cookie has on me? Yeah, I applied that. And I applied my satin spray and this is how the look came out. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you think you would try it. Yeah, please guys, please, 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 please. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't as yet. Bye guys, love you.